On the back of unexpected moderate growth in 2021, Finance Minister Ken Oforiata set some ambitious macroeconomic targets for the 2022 financial year. However, by mid-year, the government had revised down all the projections as the macroeconomic situation deteriorated. Accordingly, in the mid-year budget, the finance minister cuts the target from the initial 5.8% to somewhere 3.7%. Revenue estimates were cut by some 4 billion cities and expenditure also drawn down by some 2 billion cities. Interest payments was, however, revised upwards by some 4 billion cities on the back of higher cost of financing. The budget deficit, which has been a key investor concern, was revised upwards on cash basis by some 2 billion cities. Inflation had reached 16%, the city had depreciated significantly, and consequently, the cost of borrowing shot up. As the year ends, the economic situation has only worsened. Inflation has already crossed 40%, far above the government's revised target of 28.5%. The CD depreciation and cost of borrowing have reached levels not seen before in recent times. Total debt stock has also crossed 100% to GDP and projected to reach 104% according to the World Bank. As a result, investors have been exiting the economy with the fixed income market seeing its sharpest sell-offs in recent history. All this points to one direction, that the revised macroeconomic targets will largely be missed, and that may add up to the investor concerns. So when Finance Minister Ken Oforiata appears before the House this week to present the 2023 budget, he will have to announce serious austerity measures beyond rhetorics to reassure investors and get the nation to rally behind the government. Anything short of that will be costly to the Ghanaian economy.